All right, my fellow Americans, uh, this video I'm about to show you here, basically, let me put my glasses on. I'm getting old, something else, you know. <laughs> Eyes go, and other parts go eventually. But uh, <clears throat> one thing, I still, still can't comprehend things and what's happening. What we have here, this is the Mexican president in our Congress. Now, Congress... Uh, from my understanding, is supposed to represent we, the people of these United States of America. It's not supposed to, mm, you know, work for Mexican president, Mexican people. It's not supposed to work for the global elites. Uh, but yet, what we're seeing here is an outright act of treason against the American people. What I mean by that is is there's support for mass illegal immigration because that's what this immigration reform is going to be. It's going to be for mass invasion, immigration, allowing it even more so. It's bad enough they got laws on the books that they will not uh, enforce uh, and traditionally we historically we used to only allow 200,000 in a year and it worked fine for many years the country was able to have stability proper growth and screening of individuals to make sure they're coming here for legitimate reasons to want to be Americans and Americans only and not to infiltrate within our country and destroy it from within which we were warned many years ago by the Founding Fathers that the enemy will be from within. So it's just one of the, one of the things that the global elites, one of the tools, issues, ways that they're doing it from within, just one of the many. And I'm going to go ahead and roll this here, and, and you be a judge for yourself, okay? Members of the Congress, I'm not a president likes to see Mexican leave our country searching for opportunities abroad. With migration, our communities lose their best people. Do you believe that? I don't. The working, the most dynamic, the leader of the communities. Each migrant is a parent who will never see his children again. Today, we are doing the best that we can do in order to reduce migration, to create opportunities, and to create jobs for Mexicans in our own country, where their homes are and where their families are. For us, migration is not just your problem. We see migration as our problem as well. My government, my government does not favor the breaking of the rules. I fully respect the right of any country to enact and enforce its own laws. But we need today. I remember he said that. But what we need today is to fix a broken and inefficient system. I want to recognize the hard work and leadership of many of you in the Senate and in the House and of President Obama who are determined to find responsible and objective answers to this issue. I am convinced that a comprehensive immigration reform is also crucial to securing our common border. However, like there's something that's <clears throat> wrong with uh, the law right now. Like it needs to be fixed. You got to question that. As it is, the law is on the books already. They're not even enforcing it. So ask yourself this. Why do we need to fix something that traditionally worked? Actually, what we need to do, we need to go back to the traditional policy that we had that was working. We do not... 
need to allow mass invasion in our country, suck up all our resources and infrastructure, and run it up deficit even higher. So this is what the reform is, is really about. Ever, I strongly disagree with the recently adopted law in Arizona. It is a law. Didn't he just get done saying <clears throat> that he respect the laws of our land a few seconds ago, and now he does a complete U-turn? Actually, the, the Arizona law mirrors the federal law to the T. It's no racial profiling. It's just that Arizona is going to enforce it, something that the federal government is lacking to do, but yet they'll go guard Iraq borders. I know. That's more important than our own. So ask yourself, is this a government representing the people, for the people, by the people? I think not. Look at all these people starting to stand up. It is below treason. That not only ignores the reality that cannot be erased by decree, but also introduced a terrible idea using racial, racial profiling as the basis for law enforcement. And that is why I agree. I agree with President to say the new law carries a great amount of risk when core values that we all care about are reached. I don't want to dig the gap. I believe in bridge. I believe in communication. I believe in cooperation. And we must find together a better way to face and fix this common problem. You know, this is just downright treason, folks. And if you don't see this happen in our own house, then we're doomed. This is happening from within, like we were warned by the Founding Fathers. We're witnessing acts of treason, which there's been many, actually, in this house. Now it's so flagrant. And, and, and with, the, with the Internet, we can see it happening more and more. Americans have lost faith in the two political parties that run our government. It's clear the two big box parties are not willing to secure our borders, end the slaughter of the unborn, curtail spending, and stop unconstitutional wars. We know the Republicans and Democrats have squandered our founders' heritage. We have compromised our deepest held beliefs for far too long by voting for the lesser of two evils, and it hasn't worked. Our nation's problems have now come a crisis. The solution is to declare independence from the two major parties. I'm Mary Starrett, inviting you to discover the Constitution Party. Find out why this national party, the third largest party in the country, has grown over 40% in the last few years. Seize the opportunity at this critical point in our nation's history to change the direction of our country. It simply will not happen with the two parties now in power. The Constitution Party is the only party that is 100% committed to life, liberty, and limited government. <laughs>